first time I'm really living by myself and oh man <laughs> I've realized that I'm not super great at taking care of myself. I mean, living with a partner, a friend, uh, somehow I'm like kept accountable. Not that they have to tell me what to do, but I'm just like more in line. And I think when I'm just left to my own accord, I leave things lying around more. I let dishes pile up in the sink. What's this plate doing here? This is ridiculous. What is that? Oh my, and an empty mug just, oh, oh my goodness, a lid not on its jar. And next thing you know, my hair is getting real greasy and I don't want to shower and it's 5 a.m. and I'm still awake. It just feels like a snowball that keeps rolling and we're not making any snowman out of it. I found this cozy little sublet for a month in Paris and I'm out here with a messed up sleep schedule trying to finish work at ungodly hours and it's time to turn the ship around. As James Clear said in Atomic Habits, every action you take is a vote for the type of person you wish to become. No single instant will transform your beliefs but as the votes build up so does the evidence of your new identity. I need a new identity guys. My neck hurts, my back hurts. Okay so the three main things that I need to fix is one, sleep, which probably means also exercising. I have not been exercising, but I did get a pair of sweet new running shoes the other day, so now I feel like I have no excuse because I love those shoes. And diet. I think for the most part, I'm pretty good at eating. I just need to change my eating schedule to something more daytime and less chaotic. <gasps> it's already 2 a.m. Well, that's three hours earlier than the time I went to bed last night, so look at that, people. Progress. Part of me really wants to like clean this entire kitchen, even though it's 2 a.m. It's probably better to fix my sleep schedule first and then just clean in the morning. So let's just... Okay, so it's currently 11 o'clock. Not as early as I'd like to wake up, but earlier than I've been waking up. So, progress. I've been struggling with bringing myself to go outside when I don't have an errand to run or a person to see. I think that is the first thing I'm gonna do this morning. No, 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 get out of bed. I'm just gonna do a quick little 15, 10, 15 minute around the block, nothing too crazy because I literally haven't run in a year. Wish me luck. Okay, so far so good. <sighs> Sweat check, look at that. I'm like shimmering. I feel good though. Started my day with something kind of scary and challenging, and now I feel like I can make some tea and do the dishes. So while we deep clean the apartment, I want to talk about today's sponsor because as we move through life's challenges, sometimes what we really need is help from a professional, which is why today's video is sponsored by BetterHelp an online platform that provides customized therapy through video, voice call, or even live chat so you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't feel comfortable. Because honestly, starting therapy can feel daunting, at least it was for me. But BetterHelp made it super easy by giving me a quiz that paired me with a therapist who fit my needs and schedule within only 48 hours so I didn't have to sit in any awkward waiting rooms or make any reservations. My favorite part is that there are over 20,000 therapists, so you have a much wider selection than you would in your local area and you can switch therapists anytime completely for free, making finding the perfect fit that much easier. So if you'd like to give BetterHelp a try and join the 2 million plus people who use this platform, you can get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash Leah's Field Notes. Wow, we really just did all that in two hours time, not even. If you told me I had to do that, I would think it would take me like half a day. But the reality is if you don't look at your phone and you just freaking go through them, pop on some music, so fast, so fast, incredible. Mm, yum. 
Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I've been diddle dwaddling a little bit, but I'm gonna continue editing. We are so close to finishing this video. Let's do it. Team on three. One, two, three. Team. That's anticlimactic. I'm going to set the timer on my iPad. One hour. All right, let's begin. I'm literally salivating watching this. This is so painful. I miss the vegan food in Berlin so bad. <laughs> up I've never taken a break this early into working before I don't even know what to do um I guess stretch I open the windows get fresh air but the air outside let me smell so bad Ooh, love Paris this is called nerve flossing yoga I like the sound of nerve flossing all right let's go back to work it's been another hour on the clock time for my round two break not going to lie i did try to just like keep working past this one hour break but then like actually once i got up i noticed that my like shoulders were more tense so it's actually good to just like get up every hour five minutes moving i should not be dancing with a knife i think it's like five something now it is so bright outside i feel like my concept of time is a little bit warped Oh, not the sharpest knives. Mmm, yummy. This is just like the most thrilling part of my day is an orange. Oh my god, I kind of want to have another one. How many oranges should you eat in a day? Three sounds like the max. Maybe I'm just dehydrated. I should just drink some water and like make dinner later. Okay, my break got extended and I ended up watching instagram stories but it kind of just made me realize that i'm like not ready to focus and get back to work again my eyes are tired so actually maybe i'll just walk to sacre now and then do groceries on the way back cook something and then finish up this video at nighttime. just keeping it flexible i don't know what i want honestly i just want to go outside so i did end up walking around the neighborhood and the thing is if i just walk 15 minutes out of my aesthetically sketchy looking area i get to a really cute part of paris and albeit it is a bit touristy but also very quaint touristy bits too and after i filled up my memory card hit the grocery store let's just say i was i was hungry salad so much protein tea rich toast and guess what else I got? A CND carrot. You guys said apparently they're fresher and preserve longer. So I'm curious. So I bought one sandy carrot and to those of you asking for the price, it was 30 cents. I also got these avocados, vegan sausages, sliced eggplant, hummus, oat milk, and that's it. Came around to about 28 euros. Not really sure what to cook, but I just want to try this. Mmm, really yummy. Ooh, what if I put it on top of pasta? Salad? Should we put on the sandy carrot? Ugh, I'm like afraid of it. I mean, we still have to wash it, right? I guess now I have to like actually peel this carrot or just eat the dirt. Mm. Ah. It definitely tastes like a carrot. I don't have to say. I probably should have bought a regular one to compare it. I think I need to just eat this carrot on its own. I'm not kidding you guys. Like a couple days ago, I bought plain tofu like this and I was literally cutting into strips and dipping it into ketchup. Like that's how not okay I was. <sighs> but honestly, it tastes great. Oh my God, I've like never been so excited to eat a salad in my life. This is tasty guys. A little balsamic glaze on it. Tell me this does not look tasty AF. I just made this for myself. Oh my god, I'm so proud of myself. I mean, literally made such a beautiful spread. Okay, I need to eat like every meal on this like platter tray now because I feel official. Oh, damn, this is nice. After dinner, I ended up calling a friend who I needed to catch up with and then I think my brain tried to tell myself to get back to work but my body really didn't want to and my brain didn't 
It's literally 2.30 a.m. Mm. But that is still earlier than when I went to bed last night. So we're actually winning. That's what I just realized. Let's go to bed, kids. What's the quote again? It's not one thing that changes who you are as a person, but every action you take is a vote towards the type of person you'll become. <laughs> I really want to get a baguette from like a proper boulangerie, but I just realized it's Sunday because like everything's so closed. Oh man. Got her. It is real hot today. This is my first baguette that I bought from a boulangerie. I don't know why I didn't do this sooner. Look how freaking gorgeous it is. Look at that. Fluffy. I kind of want to do a savory one. I woke up at like 11 and then I just felt really bad about it. And somehow I just stayed in bed for longer. And I was like, you know what? Let's do something nice and go get myself some fresh bread. Let's try a bite. Mmm. Yeah. I'm gonna toast this. I cannot believe I've been depriving myself of real amazing boulangerie bread. I've just been buying bread from like the regular supermarket thinking it was like pretty tasty. Mmm. <gasps> Yum. Ooh. Figs and cheese. second work break for the day. Yeah, I've just decided I'm gonna finish this baguette. It's too good. It's like so delicious. Why would you want to save it for the next day when it's not gonna be as fresh, you know? Like I took this baby home warm. It was still hot in my hands because it had been baked not so long ago. We're gonna finish it. I kind of messed up the my video is almost done. It is so close to being done. I'm so excited. But then I also have to make a thumbnail. It's just the annoying thing at the end where you're like, I'm done, and then you're like, wait, you're not done. But then I'm gonna post that, and then it'll feel like a strong sense of accomplishment. Yummy, yummy, yummy. New combo. Pretty darn tasty if I do say so myself. Mmm. Very, very yes. Guess who finished the video? <laughs> My body feels so stiff though, so I think I'm gonna go for a run, like willingly. Wow, what if I become a runner? Could it be me, or could it? I'm ready, let's go. Oh my gosh. That was literally just 10 minutes, I just ran. I'm so tired. 10 minutes, that's all it takes. Definitely not stiff anymore. I'm all clean, all showered, and ready to eat. I'm famished. Every time I cook couscous, it is a bit of a gamble. Tasty though. Mmm. Ooh, kind of want to try a sausage. Little dinner table. Slice her up, add her in there, and call my aunt because I'm supposed to go visit them. They live in the south area ish of France. I'm kind of glad that this weekend all of those social plans they had kind of got cancelled. This is like a very recharging. Alright, looking forward to seeing you. Yes. Bye. Bye bye. Bisou. 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 Bye. <laughs> Guten Morgen. I had a really fun day yesterday. I published my video in the morning, so I did a little bit of work before that. And then I took the train out into the suburbs to hang out with 
a new friend who's also a vegan chef. I filmed a recipe video with her. Very excited to share that with you guys. I was so close to going to bed early last night, guys. I did scroll on TikTok <laughs> before I went to bed. And that probably like, dragged it out to like an hour or half an hour later. Like I really, I really need to just delete the app to be completely honest. But I like to get to a point where I can just like be actively aware of my usage. Alarm went off at 10, basically snooze it until 11, but I'm out of bed, so that is a win. <laughs> We're making progress bit by bit, and honestly, I think Paris time is just so different because the sun sets at like 9 or 8, so I end up like doing things and being out later anyways, so I don't really want to kick myself too much for that, but I like to wake up before 10. That's my ideal, so we're one hour away from the goal. But I'm excited to get some work done, I'm gonna put in all my footage, do some other bits and bobs, and then Hitomi invited me to go see a burlesque show tonight. She has an extra ticket, so I'm gonna go with her, I'm really excited about that. Maybe we'll go for a run later, because my hair is really greasy and I need to run. I mean, and I need to shower. Mm. I didn't brush my teeth. What the heck? Because I can't watch TikTok. I'm just gonna have these like TikTok tracks stuck in my head, but I have no idea what they're even saying. Started feeling a little bit restless. Got some work done though, so I've decided I'm gonna go out and do a quick little run and just like enjoy the day. Who am I? Who am I? Willingly go outside to run? Good run, wasn't really too intense, mostly just like jogging and then walking around because I forgot to wear a sports bra and I just like... I found a really cute little park during my run, so that was actually very successful. So I'll definitely go back another day. And I've succeeded in my goal, which is sweating, and now I can take a shower. I just heated up the leftovers from the other day. Bless my soul for making leftovers. Mmm, mm hmm. Don't Oh my god, they all had very same boobs and butts. I feel like they, they definitely chose that. Not size inclusive, but... There was one girl who had smaller boobs, and I was like, that's my girl. <laughs> Do you think that you're straight? Like, I don't know. 
Do, okay, I wasn't sure if that show would make you be like, I'm definitely not straight. Okay, no, I don't think it's stuff like that that makes me feel like I'm not straight. <laughs> okay. It's like, I'm like, they're beautiful, but like, I can't see their personalities. Like, exactly. Do I really know them? Or do I just know what they look like? <laughs> so... That's on being pansexual. Yeah, <laughs> basically. <laughs> Instead of like going on my phone or anything before bed, I just read a little like kids book in French and that kind of like got me really sleepy. Wow, I'm really happy with this. Tonight, Nay is coming over. She's gonna stay with me for a couple of days. So I'm just really glad I got to like adjust my sleep schedule, my daily routine before she arrived and yeah, I feel really proud of myself. I feel good. Of course, I'm not perfect, but I think progress is what's really making me feel extremely happy and focusing on that instead of exactly what time you're waking up, exactly what time you're going to bed, feels good. Right now, the morning air is very cool and fresh and there's not too many people on the street. So I'm gonna go for a little, little jog. Every time I think about it, the fact that I've literally ran for like four days blows my mind. Willingly too. I think it's because this time I don't really put pressure on myself, I don't time myself, I don't tell myself to run a certain place or to a certain place, and I think that really helps, but I want to go in the direction of the park I found yesterday. friends and then come back and continue on with my work because I really need to finish this up tonight. Hello! Hello. 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 Hello.